Welcome to my series about Cheat Engine. In this episode, I'll try to explain step 2 of the craft tutorial. We have two enemy players and one normal player. The enemy players share the same code as the human players, so we can make use of that. I'll show you how. Let's find player health first and lose some health. 6, just this one. Now find out what writes to this address. And there we go. This instruction decreases the health address of the player, but also the health address of the enemies. So we can use that to find the address of the enemy player as well. Let's shoot this one. This one, and there we have it. Alt 1, 2 of the player. So we can just change these to 1 and do a allow decrease only. You do that by pressing the numeric uh, keypad minus key, or you can just click here to create a allow up or allow down, or just remove it completely. But we like a allow down. So there you go. Now let's shoot them. And there we go. Before the Mega Bomb started, we have solved the tutorial. This is, of course, not the only way to solve the tutorial. We can also use a code injection to filter out between player 2 and player 1. So let's do that in this case. Make sure it talks to a new process because I reopened it. Luckily, we're still at the correct address, so we can reuse that to find the address of the player and the enemy first. There we go, we have player and enemy held now. So, find commonalities, select group 2, and market group 1, and start scanner. You can see that RDX was 1 for the group 2. We can use that in our outer assembler, but let's go for RX because that's the one being used. So, scan. The default seems alright, so let's do that. Alright. There we go. Let's see the values, if we can see something we can use. As you can see here, this looks like the max health value for Team 2 and Team 1. Team 2 has max health 200 and Team 1 100, so we can use that to compare again. Or, we can scan this one, which is apparently 1 for Team 2 and 0 for the player. Let's go for this one. So, let's stop this debugger, not needed anymore. And do a coding action here. Notice that this instruction is a red instruction, so anything behind this is never executed. So this exit is not going to be used anyhow, and this return here has no use, and this knob can go as well. Just remember we need to use red to return back to the original code. So, let's compare RX plus 70, that was, yep, to 1, and if so, it's the enemy. If not, it's the player, so if it's the player, let's give him 100,000 health, and we turn back to the original code. Well, we're gonna skip this, so we can do immediately red. And since we're going to not to use this, we can remove this as well, actually. Okay, now here we have enemy. And me. I cannot type sometimes. In case of the enemy, move zero and return. And there we have it, a simple and short coding action script for infinite health for the player and instant kill for the enemy. Let's test this out. Okay, let's see what happens when I get hit. I get 100,000 health. And instant kill for the enemy. 
Let's try out the mega bombs. Oh no, they're gonna hit me. And as you can see, nothing happens. And that's also one of the ways to solve this tutorial. I hope this has been educational for you and see you next time.